812, his C time coming in. He is a decorated athlete all around, but he's got a bunch of company at him. There's Chris Taylor. He'll be wearing hip three. Julian Maillet, hip one. Nathan Dagan, hip two. Javier Tijuana will be wearing hip four. Brendan Wong. The Quitlam Cheetahs will have hip five. Of course, the Coquitlam Cheat is the hometown club here. There's Matthew Hope. He'll have hip six. Felix Curion will have hip seven. Tyler Dozy, their Thunderbird athlete competing here today. He'll have hip eight. Miles Avalos from Toronto West Athletics will be wearing hip nine. Andrew Davies, he'll be wearing hip 10. Eleven is Tom Anderson from the Hoka Running Club. Jeremy Kugler from London Western Track and Field Club, the 2023 Canadian champion in the 10K, will be wearing hip number 12. Andrew Alexander will have hip number 13. He's from Harbor Track. And wearing hip number 14, the 2019 Pan Am Games sixth place finisher over this distance, Rory Linkletter. The pacer will be Ryan Tyrell. He's looking to bring them through in 108, 109 laps. Well, you hear the support from the crowd there for Link Letter and the field. Again, I would say that on paper, this is the deepest, most star studded field of the evening and sure to be an exciting race here. As you mentioned, Tyrell looking to bring them through in 68 to 69 second laps. He will swing wide in that white kit to the outside as Link Letter in the orange kit just finds his way gently towards the front of this pack, settles in about five deep. All eyes will be on him. He is the one to beat. Link Letter has a uh, resume longer than we have time to talk about, but some of his highlights involve. Of course, the uh, Canadian Half Marathon Championship title for a short time before it was eclipsed by Cam Levins. But he ran a marathon PB of 2.08.01 in Seville in February, coming off a string of very strong road performances. Also ran a half marathon PB of 1.01.02 in Houston in January was 18th in the Marathon at the World Championships last summer and has placed third twice at the Canadian 10,000 meter championships in 2019 and again in 2022, looking to top the podium this year. It was about a 67 high opening lap, so absolutely perfect pacing up front by Tyrell. But Adam, we talked about how this is a star-studded field and although Link letter may be the uh, sort of most decorated on paper. He's going to be in close company, especially with the likes of Kugler, who was the winner of this race last year. Jeremy Kugler out of London Western Track Club. He's got a PB of 28, 28, 30, and he set that recently at the 10, Sound Running's the 10 in California. He was in the sub elite race there where. Uh, one Mo Ahmed qualified for Paris in this event. And you can see there are some separations. So our leader up front, Tyrell, and then there are five athletes in the race proper who are tucked in his slipstream running very strong together. And I'm not surprised to see that this is how the race is playing out early. Just at the back of that field in that red kit, I believe that's Davies. And right Davies. now it is Alexander leading the way, tucked in behind Ryan Tyrell. The pacer, Alexander from Toronto, Ontario. He's coached by Canadian steeplechase legend Matt Hughes. 
Well, Matt Hughes, a great coach to have. And uh, he actually made the move recently, did Alexander, to Flagstaff, Arizona, 7,000 feet of altitude. Lots of our Canadian athletes, including myself, have spent a lot of time up there getting ready for our national and international competitions. Alexander, as you mentioned, a uh, Team Ontario member, ran for Notre Dame collegiately, was a standout there, and as I mentioned, recently moved to Flagstaff, where he now trains with his former no Notre Dame roommate, and current American mile record holder, Yared Nagus. So in good company up in flag is Mr. Alexander. Let's go down to the track. Lynn Kanuka is with the Canadian 10,000 meter women's champion. Elia, oh my gosh, it was a pleasure to watch you just on your own, taking the pace, doing what you can. You're the national champion. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels pretty good. It's pretty surreal. It's been an interesting season, so I'm very excited. Yeah, you. I mean, you've really burst on the scene, and uh, now I know a little history. A big, a big shout out to your to your hometown in Smithers and your coaches back there. Maybe a, a, and the ones that you have now. Just share what that means for you and for them. Yeah, for sure. It's, I'm very thankful for my high school coaches back in Smithers, cross country and track. They knew who they are. They're yeah, were very much believed in me when I was young. And then working with Melindy now, it's been. I feel very blessed with the coaches I've had. So that's awesome. I have to ask you, like. What happens, what happens now? I mean, personal best on the track, personal best at the Sun Run recently. Things are really moving forward. What are you going to do for the rest of the summer now? Yeah, my next race, I'm heading out to Ottawa at the end of the month for the 10K Road Champs. So I'm excited for that and then kind of see where it takes me afterwards. Awesome. And so in Kelowna, you've got a little bit of school happening there now. Well, it's finished now, but where are you at in school there? I actually graduated last year, so I recently relocated to Vancouver. So I'm living here now, so it's great for races and stuff. But yeah. Good people in your camp. Well, congratulations to our amazing Canadian champion, Elia Brody. Thank you, Lynn, and congratulations again to Aliyah Brody picking up her first Canadian title just moments ago in the women's 10,000 meters, uh, continuing a very strong 2024 for the Smithers BC native as we return our focus to the track now. The men's 10,000 meter national title on the line here. Andrew Alexander still leading things. Jeremy Kugler running in second. Rory Linkletter in the mix as well. Well, Adam, they are approaching the 2,000 meter mark and bang on 540. That is excellent pace setting up front by our pacemaker. And so 540 through 2,000 meters would put them right around 28-20 tempo, which is 68 seconds a lap. That's exactly what they asked for. And again, we have our pace setter up front, and then we have a pack of five deep. And all five of these athletes, again, this is why this race should be so interesting. This is going to be, again, on paper at least, a very, very close contest. All five of these runners capable of running right around the same tempo. Some of them haven't run, you know, recent performances that would indicate that but having spoken with them having talked about what the workouts they've done and seen what other kind of uh, you know results they've thrown down in over and under distance races the 10,000 meter is the real equalizer for athletes who are coming up from the mid distance let's say they were milers in university you know 1500 meter specialists moved on to the 5,000 or in the likes of, you know, Link Letter and others coming down from those really strong performances on the road in the marathon and the half, the 10,000 is where they meet in the middle, and this could be anybody's race. So our lead pack of five is led by Andrew Alexander. Now a move being made by Kugler. He's running in second, Tom Anderson third, Link Letter fourth, and Andrew Davies Currently in fifth, it's Ryan Tyrell doing some masterful pacing. Yeah, again, we've talked about the importance of that masterful pacing up front. Really, really well done by our pace setter. We'll give you a 3K split as they come through 
on their next lap. We should mention that Tom Anderson, the uh, Hoka athlete who's part of that mix, not eligible for the title. He's actually a British athlete. He trains in the States, but uh, is not a Canadian citizen, so not eligible for that title. So you see a look there at some of the uh, chasers as well as they come through the start finish line. And now our leaders taking us through again, they were 540 through 2000 meters. So that means they should be about 830 at the 3K split and they were just over that 831 through 3,000 meters. So again, you set it at a masterful pacing by our pace setter up front. And now it looks as though he is stepping off. Luckily, there are five men, all of relatively equal strength, able to carry this pace forward over the next 7K. Alexander continuing to lead. He was third in this event at the 2022 NACAC Championships down in the Bahamas. Also has a couple of indoor national championships to his credit. Won the 1,500 meters and the 3,000 meters at the indoor championships in St. John, New Brunswick back in 2023. Well, you know, Adam, we talk about that 10,000 being the great equalizer. I would say for Andrew Alexander, you know, just running is the great equalizer. He's got those 1,500, 3,000 meter Canadian national indoor titles to his name. He also opened up his debut half marathon this past fall at the Toronto Waterfront Marathon race weekend. Ended up winning it in 102.44, an absolutely brilliant time, and was ninth at the Canadian Cross Country Championships last fall. So to be able to have that kind of speed on the indoor track, that kind of strength over the half marathon on the roads, and then to put it all together in a uh, national championship cross country race speaks to his range. And that I think is why we're seeing him up front comfortably taking the lead over this group of five. Well, we saw Aaliyah Brody win the 10,000 meters for the women. She was fourth at the Vancouver Sun Run this year on the women's side of things. On the men's side of things, well, it was Tom Anderson who finished fourth. Of course, though, he, as you mentioned, not eligible to be crowned the Canadian champion as he is an American. That lead group of five still all pretty close together. It continues to be led by Andrew Alexander. Googler right there as well. The defending champion, Anderson, Linkletter, and Andrew Davies at the back end of that lead pack. And a little bit of separation now back to Davies. I'm hoping he can hold on to the back of the orange kit of link letter just ahead of him. You know, Davies uh, just coming off of a shiny new PB as well in this event, 29.03 from the Brian Clay Invitational in April. He was a standout at McMaster University and has had several other accolades to his name. We talk about track prowess, cross country, dominance, you know, ability on the roads. He kind of is another one of these athletes that can do it all. And uh, he's just got to hold on to that orange kit. Link letter, we should mention in the orange, running for Puma. Another athlete that calls Flagstaff, Arizona home, coached by the formidable Ryan Hall, American half marathon record holder. <laughs> And again, you could just throw a blanket over these top five right now. Davies really the only one showing any separation from the bunch. 
but phenomenal running but he's really five doing men. his best to uh, stick with the link letter there he has made up it wasn't a big gap that was developing between Davies and the four leads but he has shrunk whatever gap there was and continues to be right on the he he heels of link letter but still it is alexander leading the way as he has since the outset of this race and cater the other four tucked in behind him do you think they're happy to let him do all the hard work here when will, might we see a move well this is a big question and i think this is where athletes really have to know themselves well you know some athletes know that they have a strong kick that was true for me. I was always happy to let someone else lead because if I could just sit and hold on for as long as possible, I knew I would be doing just fine in the closing stages. I got to say, though, you know, we're seeing Alexander in the lead. We're seeing Kugler just tucked in behind him. He's running the shortest distance. It almost looks as though our leader is a pace setter. I can't imagine that's true, although as I say that, he's literally moving out and letting Kugler take the lead. That could just be him saying, look, I've done enough of the pace setting. We're all gonna work together. I need you to kind of take over and share the workload. Kugler, I think at this point in the race, Adam, looks like the most relaxed athlete. The only other person I would say is in sort of the mix there is uh, our third place runner. And I believe that is Anderson, again, who is not eligible for the team title. And they are through halfway in about 14.16. So the early pace was set at 28.20. That would have been 14.10. They're six seconds outside of that at five kilometers. That is pretty consistent running to be only six seconds off of that tempo. And that might be why, Adam, you saw a change in pace there. And now another change in pace I'm sorry, that is Kugler up front. So Kugler continuing to lead just past halfway. They are on 28-32 pace, but still five deep. And that, it, it bodes well because any one of these guys could take over at any point and keep that tempo rolling. Kugler looking to defend his 10,000 meter Canadian crown that he won last year, not too far away from here in Coquitlam, out in Langley, BC. He's also third on the road last year at 10K. We mentioned that several of these runners are coming off of lifetime or season's best at some of the top American meets held in California over the last couple of weeks. So some of them coming off of that Brian Clay Invitational in April, others coming off of top finishes at the 10, Sound Running's the 10 in California. And it always bodes so well when you can come, you know, into a national championships off of the heels of a new lifetime best. Not only from a confidence perspective, but there's a real physiological boost that you get from taking your body to a place it's never been before. Kugler looking so strong up front, and now for the first time, Linkletter putting himself in the conversation, almost sort of muscling his way through. I think there was some hopefully friendly dialogue that happened there, and it looks like Linkletter just said, look, I'm ready to take over. I'm coming off a 208 marathon. That was almost a four minute improvement for him on his lifetime best. He's obviously in the shape of his life and wanting to get to Paris any way he can. So it is now link letter into the lead and uh, happy to take over those pace duties for a short time at least. Another one of those athletes, Kate, that you've mentioned just excels on whatever surface he runs on. He was the top Canadian finisher in the Marathon at the 2023 World Championships. He finished 19th there. He's been at three World Cross Country Championships. His best finish, a 76th back in 2017. Again, as we mentioned, he was also sixth on the track over this distance 
at the 2019 Pan Am Games. But it is still a tightly packed group of five at the front. It's now Linkletter leading it. Kugler in second. And it is Alexander running third. Anderson fourth. And Andrew Davies continuing to hang around in fifth. Well, what's so impressive, Adam, again, we talked about the depth of this field, but the fact that these five have all been together from the very beginning and have been changing leads, having that conversation, saying, you know, this is mature running by these guys. Let's work together. It's a perfect night. It's a national championship, but we also want to try to run really fast. And there's clearly some coordination that happened ahead of time, whether it be between the athletes or the coaches, to say, you know, we know the pacemaker can only go so far. Let's then work together when they drop so that we can get the best out of ourselves on the night. This is really impressive running. They're starting to lap other athletes. Shows what kind of tempo they're on. Again, they've maintained that sort of 28 mid pace. In fact, they've picked it up a little bit. And we'll be coming up on a 7,000 meter split shortly. It can give you a sort of sense of where they're at. But this is really brilliant running. And uh, some of our top talent, again, our Canadian record holder and uh, Paris bound athlete Mo Ahmed not present. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a wealth of talent following behind him in the form of these five men on track tonight. Kate, if you're one of the five athletes in this lead group, uh, when do you think would be the appropriate time to try and stamp your mark on this race? Well, again, they're just under 7,000 meters in, so they've got 3K to go. A lot of time has passed, but there's a lot of racing yet to come. I think there's a strength in the number of these runners, and these guys know that. So they're going to want to stick together as long as they can. The pace hasn't slowed significantly. It's slowed a little bit, but it hasn't dropped off to the point where it's becoming sort of a, a kicker's race. You can see these guys actually chatting. And for the first time, it is our foreign athlete taking to the lead. That is Tom Anderson, the tall athlete from Hoka, the British runner. And now you see them in single file. That means the pace is ticked up. I think these guys know that their best chance at success as a unit is to stay as a unit for as long as possible. And just, you know, if, if I were them, I'd say in the last 1,500 meters, it's every man for themselves. But until then, let's try to make this an honest race together. So our top four right now have each taken a turn in the lead. Right now, it's Tom Anderson's go at it. He's being followed by Andrew Alexander, or excuse me, Jeremy Kugler, Andrew Alexander running in third, Linkletter in fourth, and again, just hanging around in fifth. It is Andrew Davies from Sarnia, Ontario. So six Lead laps group. remaining, Adam, now, which means that they have uh, one lap until 8K down. So when they hit the start-finish line at the next lap, they will have passed through 8,000 meters and will be able to give you a sense of exactly what tempo they're running. But it is Tom Anderson of Hoka, the British athlete, trains in the U.S., racing in Canada, a true international affair here as this pack of five remains so strong and just absolutely stunning running happening here in Coquitlam. Well, Davey's now trying to stay with that lead pack. He's done a good job 
to do just that throughout this race? Is he going to be able to maintain that and maybe stake a claim of his own for first place? As right now, that continues to be Tom Anderson leading the way. Kugler tucked right in behind him. And they are 22.56 through 8,000 meters. So with 2K remaining, 22.56 puts them right around 28.35. So again, they haven't fallen off very much from that tempo. You see the pace there. Again, these runners very strong in their own right, but about to be surpassed by our leaders. Now to the lead again, Kugler looking to defend his title, running super strong, coming off of another top performance on the roads at the Canada Running Series Spring Runoff. He won it for the third year in a row this past March, and he is happy to take over pace setting duties yet again. So less than five laps remaining. As these guys approach the start finish line, they will have one mile to go in this 10,000 meter race. And Rory Linkletter almost stumbling a little bit there as he tries to find his footing. These guys all queuing up. And Adam, you asked earlier when the move might be made. You can get the sense that these guys are a little anxious. There's some energy happening on the track. And I think we're gonna see something special happen in the next lap or so as Linkletter swings wide trying to uh, put himself into the conversation to make a charge. Alexander moved into second place. Linkletter goes wide, Kate, as you said, trying to make a move, but now he's going to fall back into fourth. Tom Anderson running in third, and again, still hanging around is Andrew Davies. At the back of this lead pack, Linkletter's going to go wide again, and he's going to touch the second lane, and Unable to make a move. It's still tightly packed. Kugler leading. Alexander in second. Anderson in third. Linkletter fourth. And Davies in fifth. You know, this is where you can't get too anxious. This is where some musical chairs can happen. People are just trying to find position, but they're shifting up and down without actually increasing the pace. This is where a fall can happen. This is where you just don't want to let your nerves get the better of you. The more composed athletes will stay on the rail. You see Linkletter, and I, I give him all the credit in the world for putting himself up there in the conversation, but he's using more energy than anyone else in the pack. He's run the last three laps on the outside of lane one. He is running a further distance than anyone else, and I know he's just jostling for a position, but he might be just wasting a little bit of energy trying to do that. In my mind, he would do well to sit back in on the rail, catch his breath, gain composure and get ready to go 25 52 on the clock and we are inside 1k to go well now we will see if the moves are going to be made as the lead pack comes to another group of athletes that they will lap and it is alexander leading as they go wide tom anderson on his shoulder now it's a big mess of humanity. And it's Alexander by a nose right now as Anderson's right there with him. Anderson goes out into lane three. So Anderson moves into the lead. Alexander in second, but here comes Kugler. Kugler up onto the shoulder of Alexander. Alexander able to counter that at this point. Anderson, the leader, with about 600 meters to go. Anderson, Alexander. Excuse me, Anderson, Kugler, Alexander. Linkletter in third, and Davies in fifth. Little bit of a gap now between third and fourth. And Linkletter now closing that gap, and he's Davies trying to go with them, and 
This might be where they drop Davies as they will hear the bell. One lap left to go. Kugler out in front, looking to defend his Canadian title. Anderson hanging around. Kugler trying to make a bit of a break. Can't do it. Anderson right there. Here comes Alexander on the outside. Alexander into second. Linkletter trying to turn it on. He'll go to the outside of Anderson. And Linkletter looks to have moved himself into third place. It's still Kugler leading the way. Alexander trying to go with them. Kugler trying to pull away. They're into the final 200 meters. It's Kugler, it's Alexander, and here comes Linkletter. They've dropped Anderson. Can he try and remain in this pack of three? No, it's a battle on now between Linkletter and Alexander. They're gonna race this one out to the line. Alexander with the lead. Linkletter trying to go with them, but Alexander will come across in first. What a finish. Alexander is the Canadian champion over 10,000 meters in 2024. Adam, what a finish. That was incredible. That was one of the most exciting 10,000 meter finishes you could possibly imagine. The fact that all five of these men remained in it to the very end made for an absolutely thrilling race. And I've got to say, I had unofficially 27.30 on the clock with a lap to go. 28.28 means that these top two men closed sub 60 for the final lap of a 10,000 meter race. And to run 28.28, that's a PB for several of these athletes. Absolutely fantastic, brilliant running here. Alexander holding off the marathoner link letter, but all five of those guys fought every step of the way as these runners continue to stream across the line, hearing the bell for some of them, chasing for home for others. What brilliant performances in this closing event of the Canadian 10,000 meter championships and Pacific Distance Carnival. Alexander crowned your champion. Linkletter coming off of marathon training to also close in the sub 60 second lap. This is what track and field is all about, Adam. Brilliant running. Well, you said we were in for an exciting finale here tonight and uh, you were right. Uh, a race to the line in this 10,000 meter final for the Canadian championship and Andrew Alexander wins it. Yes, there is the hometown boy, Brendan Wong, crossing from the Coquitlam Cheetahs. Here comes Nathan Deegan. And a wonderful night of racing out in Coquitlam, capped off with an exciting conclusion in the men's 10,000 meters. As here comes Matthew Hope. He'll cross about 30, 51. And this is Tyler Dozy. And he'll come across 31.03. Well, again, Alexander, third in this race last year. He will top the podium this year. That altitude training at 7,000 feet in Flagstaff, obviously paying off. Alexander training again with his Notre Dame roommate from back in the day and American record holder, Yared Nagus. Things are looking up for him alongside Rory Linkletter, one of the most decorated recent Canadian distance runners, also training in flag as we continue to celebrate all of our runners coming across the line. I believe that's, is that Nathan Dean coming across now? It is. So again, these championships special across the board for those atop the podium and those looking to get the best out of themselves no matter what on a beautiful night, a tough night for some, but great camaraderie. Congratulations across the board for our finishers and what a way to cap off the Canadian championship 10,000 meters and the Pacific Distance Carnival here in Coquitlam on our road to Paris 2024.
So Andrew Alexander, the Canadian men's 10,000 meter winner. It is his first outdoor national championship after he picked up wins indoors last year in the 1500 meters and the 3,000, 28, 27, 69 for Alexander. A link letter, oh, he made it interesting. But in the end, he finishes 18 one hundredths of a second back for second place. And Jeremy Kugler, last year's champion, he'll still be on the podium this year. He comes away with the bronze at a time of 28, 29, 67. Three guys under 28.30, and look at how tight those finishes were. 28.34 down to 28.27, separating our top five. Brilliant performances, and again, a closing lap of sub-60 seconds for our top two finishers. That's pretty fast running for a half marathoner and a marathoner, Adam. Indeed it is, and it was an exciting race the entire way through we had that lead group of five who uh, four of them took their turns leading this race and it all culminated with a, a mad dash to the finish between alexander and link letter and alexander able to hold off link letter and well that's a, a just a taste of uh, what we've got coming up this year on athleticscanada.tv this the second stop of the National Track and Field Tour. And we will be back with you later in the month with the uh, Bob 